वेलकम लर्नर आई एम डॉक्टर आशुतोष कुमार भट्ट एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर स्कूल ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड आईटी उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हल्द्वानी आई होप द टॉपिक डिस्कस टुडे विल डेफिनेटली बेनिफिट यू एंड नाउ सम मोर प्रोग्राम्स ऑफ एक्सएमएल आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग इन दिस लेक्चर सो यू कैन सी द ट्री स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एक्सएमएल हियर वी हैव अ एक्सएमएल प्रोग्राम एंड inside this program we have a in company uh, means we have the table name company or employee so we have the tag company and inside the company tag we have employee tag and you can see it's, it's a tree structure also xml this is called xml tree structure and inside employee we have name age email and address we have four fields so you can see here name uh, field name tag and it is closed here age tag email tag and address tag and uh, this has to be noticed that address tag has uh, four different tags it's sub subset of uh, this address tag they are landmark pin city and state so these are the four different tags so you have to understand this uh, that this is the tree structure means any any of uh, field uh, any of element having more than one element it's sub element so uh, address element having uh, four different element so we are using here we are not using any attribute so uh, we have city tag city is closed here state tag and state closed pin tag pin element and landmark landmark element. so address will be started from here and it will be closed here while email is started from here and email is closed here email has only uh, it is single element and it uh, email element does not have any sub element so this is closing of employee and this is closing of company and we will write here xml version 1.0 and encoding utf8 and this is the tree structure of the xml so we have to uh, given here the tree structure and uh, we can display this structure and this uh, output of this xml we need one more excel file and ex about excel file i have uh, explained in the in the previous class so you can see the example uh, this is the previous example where we have we have two files so one is xml file and another one is the excel file so this is the data we have movie data we have collection table and inside the collection table we have different movie so this uh, you can see here the output of the uh, program this is the collection table and inside the collection table we have uh, three movie one two and three movie and these uh, accordingly these three movie we have three set of element movie element is it, it is closed here and another movie element and third movie element and inside this we have title element year element and year date element so we have three element and accordingly the values are inside uh, values are placed inside the element so you can see the program of xml and accordingly with this program we require one excel sheet so you will write here question mark first statement question mark xml and then version 1.0 and then question mark is closed and you can write utf also and here in second uh, line we have written here question again we are writing here question mark xml and style sheet we are writing here the style sheet href movie.xml this is movie.xml and we are uh, uh, hyperlinking another xml file Uh, its name is movie.xml and this is xml style sheet uh, and its type is text oblique css so we require this xml uh, sheet because we have to format the output of this uh, xml file so uh, you can see here the next slide uh, is representing this xml code so here we have mentioned this is also xml file it will be started by the xml version 1.0 and we'll write here xml in second line we'll write here xml style sheet version 1.0 we'll write the version of xml as well as version of xml and xml xml ns uh, colon xml and we are writing here uh, the uh, heading 
this is this is http colon double slash world wide web w3.org.1990 xsl transform so this is the pattern of uh, xsl and now we'll write here xsl colon template match slash and this is collection so uh, when it will match the collection so you can see here the collection tag so we'll write here XSL template about XSL. We are creating here XSL template. We are creating here this format. So for creating the format, we will write here XSL template match slash collection. So when we will match this collection tag collection element, uh, then it will start working. So you can see here HTML. Then uh, inside XSL, we we require HTML. So uh, this is XML style sheet and XML under XML we have XSL style sheet and this XSL style sheet is closed uh, in the last and XSL template is also closed. You can see here XML XSL style sheet is closed here and XSL template is also closed here. So we are closing template as well as style sheet. Both and uh, we are also closing HTML. So inside XSL template, we will write HTML code. And inside HTML, we have body, and then inside the body, we we are writing table tag. So we have to format it, and we have to create a table. The um, data of this X, XML uh, table is uh, will be displayed on this table. So we have to write here table. So table border one, you can see the border of table and background color of heading th all three table heading so we have mentioned here pd color back bg color is that so you can see here the background color and you can see the name here xsl for each so this is for loop xsl for each so it is closed here xsl for, for each is closed here select movie for movie you can see here there are three movie elements one movie uh, pair uh, one movie group second movie group third movie group means first row second row third row for the, all three movie we are writing here for each loop select movie and table row background color yellow we are mentioned we have mentioned here table uh, the background color of this table is yellow and then we are writing td xsl value of select so each select for each select the first select for each select we are writing here xsl value of select title xsl value of select then the xsl value of select here so title year and then will print accordingly so this will be printed so we have these three 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 set of element for movie and these three will be printed here so this is the perfect example of this xml and you can see this uh, one more example also given here so we have we have this example we have both uh, xml and xsl uh, programs are given in this uh, single sheet so this is xml code and this is xsl code so you can see here xml version 1.0 and again we have written xml version 1.0 and this is XML file and this is XSL file. You can see here XSL style sheet. So it is started from here and it is closed here. Closed here. XSL style sheet. Version 1.0. And this will be same. XMLS XSL it will be same. And then we have uh, XML template. It should be here. Um, XSL template match slash. So same way we are writing here XSL template. Uh, in previous program, we have also mentioned here XSL template match slash collection. So this is uh, for the collection. So here in this program, so we have mentioned here XSL template match slash and XSL, XSL template is closed here. And this is XSL and this is XML. So inside XML, we have written here article tag. Article is the outer tag. Inside the article, we have title tag. And inside the title, we have author, the name of author, Mr. Peter and Mr. Kick. This is author, author close, author started, author close, and author. This is also for authors. This is author, and this this is authors. So authors is closed here, 
and body started from here and body is closed here so this is the html uh, sorry xml uh, so you can see the output here but uh, when we, we will execute this xml file we will not find this type of output so we have to format this output so we have to write the code here so we have mentioned here XSL style sheet version 1.0. So initially we will write XML question mark XML version 1.0 and in next line we will write XSL style sheet version 1.0 and this is closed here and this this XSL style sheet is closed here slash XSL style sheet and XSL output method is text output XSL output method equals to text it will be displayed on a text format. <laughs> And uh, we, can, we will write here the text and then XSL template match and XSL template will be closed here. And now you can see in this code, um, first of all, we have written here um, article. Article, you can see here article. The article will be displayed, displayed here. Then we are writing here XSL value of select. So which we have select. We, we have to select title under article title under article uh, if you will select this one so then we will print my article so it will be display article dash and then my article now authors so this is the authors authors you can see this authors will be displayed here authors is then name of author different author so authors access and apply temp template select apply template select you can see here uh, we are applying the template and select title authors and author see title um, article then authors then author so inside this mr peter is given so this is for authors and uh, we will print it later on and third one is the message we have written here message accessible value of select article slash article slash body so you can see here, see here article slash body inside article we have body tag so whatever written is inside the body it will be displayed after message message this is my this is my article text it will be displayed here this is my article text and you can see here the author how will I print the author so accessible template XSL template match equals to author. So uh, this is the author template, and as uh, as we will match this author template, then we will print uh, after dash. After dash, we will write XSL value of select, and this dot where where dot is occur. So Mr. Peter, Mr. Dot Peter. So it will display Mr. Dot Peter. Accordingly, it will print it, and Mr. Dot Eric. So it will be it will print that thing. So this is the type of uh, program where one is the XML program and another one is the XSL program. So XSL will the um, format the output because uh, this colon, this dash, and this dash, and this dash, this colon is um, formatted by this XSL style sheet. So um, somehow this is a little bit complex and this is very clear. This program is very clear and you can see this one and in this program so this is the pair of this is the perfect program to understand xml as well as xsl style sheet xsl code this is the perfect perfect program for understanding this so uh, uh, xml as we know xml is very important programming language and xml uh, is known as self describing and self defining element and meaning that the structure of the data embedded with data thus when the data arrives there no need to pre-build structure or store the data it is dynamically understand within the xml so it means uh, there are no pre-build structure like html no pre-build element like html uh, according the data as data arrive as the shape of table uh, accordingly xml uh, creates its tag and so that's why we uh, we uh, we call it uh, we call the element of xml self describing and self defining uh, element so these are the benefit of 
XML. XML is case sensitive, case sensitive programming language. So we can uh, program and we can design, define any uh, table, table of data, or we can transport any table of data from one system to another using XML. So uh, that's why XML is very important. So uh, thank you very much uh, listening to this lecture.